Our Earth is dynamic. Measurements from high-precision GPS stations around the world reveal the movement of tectonic plates. Velocity vectors are arrows showing the direction and speed of these GPS stations. UNAVCO's GPS Velocity Viewer is a great way to explore tectonic motions all over the globe. Let's first take a look at Alaska, where a large subduction zone off the southern end of the state defines the boundary between the North American and Pacific plates in that area. We can turn on the location of plate boundaries by selecting Display Plate Boundaries and then hitting Draw Map. To update the map after changing any of the options, you must hit Draw Map. To compare how one tectonic plate or region is moving relative to another, scientists use different reference frames or points of view. Here we see velocity vectors from GPS stations in Alaska in the UNAVCO NAM North America reference frame. This is the reference frame that compares motions to stable eastern North America and is the default data source listed under the GNSS data source drop-down menu. How would these same vectors look if we show the relative motions compared to the Pacific plate? To change the reference frame, click the drop-down menu labeled GNSS Data Source, select the Pacific reference frame, and then hit Draw Map. As you can see, the velocity vectors look very different in this reference frame. A wide range of different reference frames is available so you can better explore tectonic motions around the world. Let's now look at Central California and some of the other features of the Velocity Viewer. The speed scale for the vectors is found in the lower left corner of the map in magenta. The length represents 25 millimeters per year. Other important symbols, such as the scale for vertical speeds, the depth and magnitude of earthquakes, and the different types of plate boundaries can be found in the key below the map when you scroll down. You can download GPS data directly from the Velocity Viewer. These downloads are only available for data from the UNAVCO NAM North America data source. To activate downloading, click on the Station Labels and Data Download box, and then hit Draw Map. To access the data, click on the Station Label of Interest, and then click Download Data File. The data are downloaded as a CSV file, which can be opened in spreadsheet programs. Before zooming out, Let's decrease the number of plotted vectors by selecting Show 1 in 20 under the How Many Markers Displayed drop-down, and then hit Draw Map. This will make it easier to move about the map as we zoom out. To plot volcanoes and earthquake epicenters, click on the Display Volcanic Centers and Display Earthquakes boxes, and then hit Draw Map. The volcanoes display as black triangles, and the earthquakes display as diamonds. The different colors indicate the depth of the earthquake. Vectors from a few global velocity models, such as IGS-08, are also available for plotting. Model data are available near the bottom of the list in the GNSS Data Source drop-down menu. Displaying the model data shows the motions of each tectonic plate, even under the ocean where GPS doesn't work. Now that we've explored a bit, we invite you to roam the world. What is happening in Iceland? What's going on in the Mid-Atlantic? How are different parts of South America moving? Discover what else you can find with UNAVCO's GPS Velocity Viewer.